Grand Circuit action continues tonight here at the Big M with the first of two divisions of the Historic Cup for three-year-old Colt and Gelding Trotters. Many of them Hamiltonian hopefuls. They're at the post, and here they come. And they're off. Yankee Mustang gets the first call. Star Rail leaves quickly, though, right to his inside. These two trotting out together toward the front. CR Kinetic came away well in third. PJ Punjab alongside him fourth. Yankee Grade is caught three wide early. Fishing Clinic is in behind a wall of horses. Kremlin Conspiracy moves up toward the rail, and Wright Rigger trails the field. So Yankee Mustang had little tr trouble, problems getting to the front. He's a length and a half clear and well in hand as they head toward the quarter. Star Rail is second. CR Kinetic is third. Opening panel was in a soft 29 and 2. Kremlin Conspiracy up the rail is fourth. PJ Punjab is parked to his outside. Yankee Grade is racing sixth on the outside. Under a big hold, right rigger is seventh. And Fishing Clinic's in a tough spot. He's behind dull cover behind this very slow pace, eighth on the outside as they head toward the half mile marker. Yankee Mustang dictating the terms here, controlling the tempo. Star Rail content to draft along in the pocket. And CR Kinetic a pylon ride so far in third at the half and 58 and three. Fishing Clinic from the back of the pack forced to wheel three wide as they move on to the far turn. Luke has him ranging up into sixth position. PJ Punjab has been parked a long way. He's fourth on the outside. Kremlin Conspiracy is trapped in at the rail. Then it's Yankee Great who's been looped and he's gapping cover. And right rigger to his inside also gapped as they trot toward three quarters. And Yankee Mustang has gotten every call so far. Three quarters up in 127 flat. Star Rail with that perfect pocket trip is second and edging out. CR Kinetic is trotting in third, but Yankee Mustang has accelerated clear under a hand drive. It's Yankee Mustang out there with a three-length lead. CR Kinetic shakes free, and he's closing quickly for Rod Allen. Fishing Clinic on the far outside. Kremlin Conspiracy closing, but it is CR Kinetic, and CR Kinetic well in hand brushes past to win. Yankee Mustang with second. His stablemate Kremlin Conspiracy third. Fishing Clinic fourth and one fifty-five. Making and one. his way back to the winner circle, number two, C. R. Kinetic, three-year-old homebred colt by Royal Troubadour, out of Aurora Renata by Spellcaster, owned by Rod Allen from Ocala, Florida, trained by his father Carl Allen, and Rod Allen is in the sulky. The Allens have developed many top trotters over the years, including the sire of C. R. Kinetic, Royal Troubadour. And the Sire of the Dam Spellcaster as well, campaigned by the Allen family, C.R. Kinetic, their top Hamiltonian hopeful for this season, scoring here impressively well in hand in 155 and 1 fifth. In the winner's circle to make the trophy presentation for the Historic Cup, the Meadowlands welcomes Tony Abatello, presenting to the Allen family, C.R. Kinetic winning driver Rod Allen. Number two, C.R. Kinetic, 1040, 540, 480. Finishing second, the 1A Yankee Mustang, 6 even, 660. His stablemate, Kremlin Conspiracy, was third. 2 1 exacta, 56 even. The trifecta pays on the 2 1 4 combination. The Historic Cup has gone to the Allen family, Rod and Carl. Rod, uh, tell us about the first two races of the year. He went to Canada, first start out, he came bursting out of the box, and last week he made a miscue. Uh, yeah, it was my fault. Uh, we got hooked up. Uh, we hooked wheels behind the gate. I hooked with John and, and uh, actually interfered with John, and, and he was good to stay straight, and we went quite a few strides, but uh, I just couldn't get him unhooked, and when I did, he made a break. Only five starts last year at two and a late start at three. What was the reason for that? Well, we'd just been protecting him a little bit because we'd been aiming him for big races. He's, he's uh, genu genuinely the best one we got in the barn, and we found out from past experience you can't race in all of them and, and be good for the big ones. What kind of trip did you work out tonight? I like the trip. He, I, you know, he behaved. Uh, he was a little aggressive. He's, he needs a few more starts to settle down and behave himself, but uh, uh, he got a good trip, and, and it was good education for him. Thanks to Rod. Carl Allen, every year it seems like you have a couple of good trotters. CR Kinetic, does he rank on that list of uh, top ones, or is he climbing up there? Oh, he's right at the top. Uh, I don't know why more of the breeders don't breed the Royal Troubadour because he just put a tremendous amount of speed in them, and it's easy to train those because they can all go fast to start with. When you had Royal Troubadour, he was a two-year-old of the year, but it seems to be carrying over to three here. Yes, it, uh, I think that they all have so much ability that uh, sometimes they get raced a little too much at, at two, and uh, that's why Rod chose to back this cold up and uh, 
kind of wait for him to come to three. Is it one of those cases now with the Hamiltonian, such an important race, the fewer starts before that, the better, if, if possible? Well, now we need some starts in him to educate him, but that was our thought, that if we could get five or six starts in him, that would be enough and, uh, and head right for the Hamiltonian, and that's what we're doing. Okay, Carl Allen, congratulations to the entire Allen family. CR Connecticut has taken the first historic cup division.